all those teeth that are ectopic, they will never come in by themselves. A teenager's mouth, so crammed with teeth it's painful to look at. A mouth so in need of fixing its owner can hardly open it to brush. A cleft palate where a tooth called an ectopic tooth can't grow in. These are the poignant cases the Texas Medicaid Orthodontics Program is designed to help. But state records point to a program off course. Athens, Texas, population 12,000. Last year at the Orthodontic Centers of America in Athens, Texas taxpayers shelled out $1.6 million for braces under Medicaid. The procedures were all approved by the state. Like the work done on Jessica Anaya in Athens, she just got her braces. Do most of your friends have braces? No. They all have bad teeth? Not really. Not only did taxpayers pay for the dental work, they paid to collect children from miles around and take them to the clinic in vans like this. The cost for the vans, $142,000 last year. More than 1,700 trips, according to state records. Uh, his upper jaw is severely constricted and narrow. And because of that, the teeth absolutely have no room to go. Back in Dallas, Dr. Deji Fashimo specializes in the medically necessary orthodontics that the law says Medicaid in Texas is supposed to be treating. If any part of the system is abused by people who don't necessarily qualify, you know, financial resources by all means are finite. So that means that's resources that is actually taken away from somebody who ordinarily will be eligible to get care received. Fashimo treats patients many orthodontists either can't or won't care for. I do have patients that drive eight hours from the west, you know, from Amarillo. In Amarillo, here's Goodwin Orthodontics. Last year, Goodwin collected more than $2.6 million from Medicaid for children's braces. Medicaid spent another $171,000 just to bring them to the office. In June, federal agents raided Goodwin. According to a search warrant, Michael Goodwin spent roughly half of each month at another clinic he owns in Indiana. He allegedly filed more than 23,000 fraudulent Medicaid claims over three years, and federal agents sought to seize his checking accounts. Goodwin's office is currently closed, and he was unavailable for comment. It isn't just in the country where Texas taxpayers are footing the bill to take kids to the orthodontist's office. This office is in Richardson, Texas, and last year it collected $2.7 million in Texas taxpayers' money to put braces on poor kids' teeth. In addition, Texas taxpayers also paid another $25,000 to bring kids to this office. Taxpayers foot the bill for vans all over the state. In Corpus Christi, here's National Orthodontics, headquartered in this shopping center. National's clinics collected nearly $10 million for Medicaid braces last year. They have offices from Corpus to El Paso. But just in Corpus, taxpayers spent $56,000 just to take kids to this office for free braces. Do the braces hurt? Um, uh, I'm sure they, they will tomorrow, according to what my friends have told me. Imagine the pain this patient feels.